Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where the early WWE 2K17 footage continues to flow as today I'm bringing you a few of this year's new menus, unlockables, alternate tires, championships and a few other little bits and pieces. So let's start with the main menu which I'm absolutely in love with this year, it's so clean, it's so simple to navigate instead of the cluttered menus that we've had the last two years and best of all it's all dynamic so it constantly changes and sees different superstars run around the background which reminds me a lot of Here Comes the Pain and overall that just keeps things really fresh as you never know who's going to pop up because I've had AJ Styles, I've had Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch and this one this is by far my favourite as we've got Big E skipping around through the menus and showing off his moves as only Big E can, so I absolutely love it and you know it'd be really cool if they continue this and allow for superstars that you download from community creations to also appear because again that then keeps it fresh and it just keeps things constantly going with brand new superstars as opposed to the same few. Right, let's move on from Big E's dance moves, so we're going to take a look at this year's unlockables, starting with superstars, all of which can be purchased using the game's in-game virtual credits, which you can earn from playing through my career, universe mode, and even exhibition matches this year, so you can then save them all up and unlock the people that you want to use. Additionally, if you don't want to wait, then you can also download the Accelerator DLC, and that features the ability to unlock everyone from the beginning. So as you can see, we have a lot of legends that can be unlocked, as well as alternate tires for the likes of Jericho, Triple H, Stone Cold, and The Undertaker with the best thing being that a lot of these are grouped together, so instead of having to unlock every single Undertaker attire, then we've got his Attitude, Ministry and Debut attires all grouped together in one item, with the same being said for people like Warrior, Michaels, Jake the Snake and others that have alternate attires, whereas there are some for people like the American Badass Undertaker that are separate, but that's because they're listed as a separate superstar, so they've got their own Trons, Music, Entrance and Moveset as opposed to just being an attire. As for managers, Bobby Heenan and the Million Dollar Man Ted DRC can be unlocked, with the game featuring 6 managers in total this year, with Bobby Heenan, Lana, Mr McMahon, Paul Heyman, Stephanie McMahon and Ted DiBiase. Also new for managers this year is the ability to have 3 managers at ringside, therefore if you want to have the entirety of the Wyatt family to back up Bray Wyatt, then you can now have all 3 accompany him to ringside and even use their main stable entrance on the way. Switching arenas and you can see that the arenas available for purchase include Capital Punishment, ACW November Remember, Fully Loaded, WCW Halloween Havoc, Raw's War, Saturday Night's Main Event, SummerSlam 88, WCW Japan Super Show, WCW Bash at the Beach, Clash of the Champions 25, WrestleMania 29 and WWE Live 91 which I believe is the Madison Square Garden Arena. So there's a very choice this year with a lot of those that unlock Bulby in either DLC last year or part of last year's showcase mode. As for championships, there's 34 unlockable belts with all of the main ones that you would expect to see listed in there, including all past versions of the WWE Championship and the Attitude Era belts, as well as custom belts for the likes of Rock, Austin and John Cena, and various belts from both WCW and ECW. So that's unlockables done, let's take a look at the full arena list including those that we've just unlocked, so you can see the entire list that's available this year includes Battleground, Capital Punishment, November Remember, Elimination Chamber, Extreme Rules, Fast Lane, Fully Loaded, Halloween Havoc 96, Hell in a Cell, WWE Live 91, Main Events, Money in the Bank, Night of Champions, NXT, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, NXT TakeOver Dallas and NXT TakeOver London, as well as Payback, Raw, Raw's War 98, Royal Rumble, Saturday Night's Main Event, Smackdown, SummerSlam, SummerSlam 88, Superstars, Survivor Series, TLC, WCW Japan Super Show, WCW Bash at the Beach, WCW Clash of the Champions 25, WrestleMania 31 which is actually an outdoor arena and then this year's WrestleMania with WrestleMania 32. Finally if you pre-order the game then you'll also get WCW Halloween Havoc and the WCW Nitro Arena as part of the Goldberg pre-order bonus. So there you go, that is all of the unlockables and the full arena list for this year's game. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think there's a decent selection, although there's not really any new additions aside from those that are pre-ordered DLC, but with all the improvements to create an arena this year, then we should be able to make a lot of those that aren't included. Until next time guys, I hope you're enjoying this early WWE 2K17 content, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future uploads as I'll have more entrances, matches and universe mode coming over the weekend, so stay tuned for that, have an awesome day and I'll catch you later.